psychological tricks to get people to do what you want. Use a decoy option to get people to buy your product. In other words, if you're having trouble selling the more expensive of two products, consider adding a third option whose only function is to make the expensive product look more enticing. Tweak the environment to get people to act less selfish. Priming is a powerful psychological phenomenon in which one stimulus produces a particular response to another stimulus, often unconsciously. This tactic could potentially work when you're bargaining with someone instead of meeting in a conference room. Consider convening in a coffee shop so your partner is less inclined toward aggression. Mimic people's body language to get them to like you. The next time you're trying to impress a hiring manager or the object of your affection, try subtly mimicking the way they're sitting and speaking they will probably like you more. Speak quickly to get an argument opponent to agree with you. How you communicate your ideas can be just as important as the substance of your argument. Research suggests that when someone disagrees with you, you should speak faster so they have less time to process what you're saying. Confuse people to get them to comply with your request. The disrupt then reframe technique is a sneaky way to get people to cooperate. Researchers say that DTR works because it disrupts routine thought processes. While trying to figure out how many dollars 300 pennies comes out to. People are distracted, and so they just accept the idea that the price is a deal. Ask people for favors when they're tired to get them to cooperate. An alert mind may express some doubt when approached with a request. Yet someone who's tired or distracted will likely be less critical, and will simply accept what you say is true. Display an image of eyes to get people to behave ethically. When they saw an image of eyes then when they saw an image of flowers. The study authors say that eyes typically indicate social scrutiny. Use nouns instead of verbs to get people to change their behavior. Participants in one study were asked two versions of the same question. How important is it to you to vote in tomorrow's election? And how important is it to you to be a voter in tomorrow's election? Results showed that participants in the voter condition were more likely to cast their ballots the next day. Scare people to get them to give you what you need. Research suggests that people who experience anxiety and then a sense of relief usually respond positively to requests afterward. For example, people who heard an invisible policeman's whistle while crossing. The street were more likely to agree to complete a questionnaire than people who didn't hear anything. Focus on what your bargaining partner is gaining to get them to agree to your offer. While negotiating, research suggests you should emphasize to your partner what they're about token as opposed to what they're losing. For example, if you're trying to sell a car, you should say, I'll give you my car for $1,000, instead of, I want $1,000 for the car. Show people the extreme versions of their views. It seems obvious that, if you want to change someone's point of view, you should make them realize it's wrong. But when it comes to politics, science suggests that a less intuitive strategy might work better.